In this lecture, let's quickly understand what is a parent component and what is a child component and what is this parent-child relationship between the components. Here, I have created a brand new Angular project with this name Custom Binding. Now, in this project, currently we have three components. So first, we have this app component and then we have this course component and header component. Now, if I open the HTML file of this app component, you will notice that inside this app component, we are using this header component and this course component. Okay, so here we are nesting this header component and this course component inside this app component. So here, this header component and this course component is child component for this app component. Okay, and this app component is the parent component for this header component and this course component. Now, why it is important to understand what is a child component and what is a parent component? That's because we have learned that we can pass data from a component class to a view template and vice versa using property binding and string interpolation and event binding. Right. Now, it is also possible to pass data from the parent component to child component and vice versa. And for that, we use at input decorator and at output decorator. So we use at input decorator to pass data from parent component to child component. And we use at output decorator to pass data from child component to parent component. And that's why it's important that you understand which component is the parent component and which component is the child component. Okay, so let's understand this parent and child component with another example. So when I run this project in the browser, it will look something like this. So here we are displaying a list of courses. And to display this list of courses, here we have created this course component. Now, if I go to the component class of this course component, you will notice that inside this course component class, we have this courses array. And inside this courses array, we have a list of objects. So the elements of this array are objects. And each object here represents a course, which you are seeing in the web page here. Okay, so just like we created the product list in our previous section, in the same way, here we have created a list of course. Now, each course has this ID, name, author, duration, price, and other properties. And then, using ng4, we are looping over this course array. And for each iteration, we are adding this HTML in the web page with the details of the course. So we are displaying the course name, the description of the course, then whether the course is premium course or free course, what is the price of the course, and then we are also displaying this buy now and show details button. Okay, and to design this HTML, we have also written some CSS here inside this course component.css file. All right, so this is our course component. And we have added this course component inside this app component. So here we have this course component. Then we also have a header in our web page. So for this header, we have created another component, which is this header component. If I go to the HTML file of this header component, here we have a div and inside that div, we simply have one h1 element. And then we are designing that h1 element using some CSS. And in the header component.ts file, inside this header component class, we don't have any UI logic. Okay, so in this web page, we have used a course component and a header component. Now what I want is, I also want to add a search component and a filter component. And this search and filter component will be the child component of the course component. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create these two components. For that, let's open VS Code built-in terminal. And here, to create a new component, we can use ng generate command. So ng generate component and let's say the component name is search. Let's press enter and it should generate all the files related to this search component. So the files have been generated. You can see a new folder have been created here. Let's go to the HTML file of the search component and here let's write some HTML to display a text box and a text search in the web page. For that, in order to save some time, I have already written that HTML. So let's grab it from here and let's use it here. 
and then let's also grab the CSS from here and let's use it inside this search component.css okay so in the HTML file we have a div inside this div we have a span where we are displaying this text search and then we have an input element if I save the changes and let's also use the selector of the search component which is app search inside the course component so let's open the HTML file of course component and above this div let's create another div and inside this div let's use the search component let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you can see that search component has been added now we also want to add a filter component so again let's go to vs code let's create another component for that let's use ng generate command and let's call this component filter let's press enter and this filter component has been generated so let's open this filter component let's go to the html file of this filter component and here let's add some html so again in order to save some time i have already written the html so let's grab it from here and let's use it here and in the same way let's also grab the css for this filter component and let's use it inside this filter component.css file all right let's save the changes let's go to the web page and we have not used the selector of the filter component so let's open filter component.ts file let's grab the selector of this filter component from here and again let's use it inside the course component so let's open course component.html file and here let's use it with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you can see the filter component has also been added and in this filter component we are displaying three radio buttons all courses free courses and premium courses so what i want is when a user select this all courses radio button then all the courses should be displayed here but when the user select free courses then only free courses should be displayed here so you can see the courses are either free or premium so when the user select this free courses radio button then all the free courses from this course list should be displayed here in the web page and when the user selects premium course then only the premium course should be displayed in the web page okay now let's go back to vs code and let's close all these files and let's open the filter component class and in this class let's go ahead and let's add three properties so I'm going to add this all property it is going to be of type number and initially let's assign it with the value 0 in the same way I'm going to have a property called free let's also assign it with the data type number and let's set it with the value 0 and let's also have a premium property this is also going to be number and let's set it to 0 all right now let's go to this filter component.html file and here let's display some text something like this so here i'm using string interpolation inside this i'm going to use single quotes so here i want to write some text and here let's say all courses and then i also want to display the total number of courses for that we are storing it in this property all right then again let's use quotes and then close this bracket let's do the same thing for other two okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that for all courses it is displaying zero for free courses also it is displaying zero and premium courses also it is displaying zero that's because here we are using the value of these properties which is set to zero if i change it to let's say 10 and here if i set it to 4 and for premium if i set it to 6 then these values will be displayed in the web page if i save the changes 
you will notice that now those values are displayed so currently we are hard coding these values but we want to get the total number of course from the courses component right because it is this courses component where we have defined these courses so inside this courses component class we have this courses array and inside this courses array we have these courses so if we can get the total number of element from this courses array then we can display it for this all courses okay so here in this array we have total nine courses so in the web page we want to display nine here then we have total six premium courses so we want to display that six here and we have three free courses so we want to display three here okay so we are going to get these values from course component right because it is this course component which has this courses array and we want to use the value from this course component in the filter component right inside the html of this filter component and if you notice for this course component if i open the html file of this course component for this course component this filter component is its child component and just now we learned that we can pass data from a parent component to its child component using at input decorator and we will learn about it in our next lecture so this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day